Hello there, hello there. How are you guys doing? How are you, my beautiful Aries? How is life? <laughs> Long time no see. I want to say a big shout out to my supporters, my Aries supporters, and anyone who's watching this that may be looking at their own Aries. And hello. Hello, it's just been a long time since I've done an actual video like this. I've been super busy in my life. A lot of changes, Aries, a lot of changes. Okay, so I am feeling called today to do an Aries reading. All about that fire, honey. All about that fire. Let's go ahead and take a look at what is going on for you in love. Okay, Aries? All right, you guys already know the deal. You have Aries in your chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, yada, 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 all that usual stuff. All right, Aries, tell me, what does Aries Collective, what does the Aries Collective need to know today? What do my beautiful Aries need to know? Oh, ooh, okay, woman holding a heart in the reverse. For those that know me, this is your overall energy here. These, or don't know me, this will be your overall energy in your current situation, we have attachment and man holding a coin. Okay. Hmm. All right. Aries, so I feel like right now you're finding it very difficult to actually open up to a specific relationship. I think that there's something that's holding you back that you really want. You really want this relationship. I think you do. I think you're attached to this person and they're attached to you. Okay. Eh, it might be a bit of an unhealthy attachment, I'm hearing. Someone may be a little codependent. But there is a future here, okay? And it has to do with stability. It has to do with money. It has to do with having a foundation with somebody, okay? You may be feel, feeling like you need to fly away. It's kind of what I'm hearing. It's kind of like my heart. I don't really know if it's worth investing. Um, I'm not really sure about this relationship. Am I just attached to this person because I feel I should be, you know, has this relationship been going on long? I'm feeling for some of you guys, this is a history, okay? I'm definitely getting a history. Um, you guys may be dealing with sort of a masculine earth energy here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or they could have this in their chart. doesn't matter. Either way, what I have for you right now is a relationship that could be a bit of a situationship where you're just, you're in it. You've been in it, but you're wondering where the love is. Okay. You feel attached to this person, but you're not sure what to do next. All right. Um, I'm getting the feeling that for some of you guys, this person has provided you with stability, in a specific way, maybe monetarily. All right, we're taking a look here. We got two of cups in the reverse for, for a clarification of this first card here. Yeah, Aries, I feel like maybe there's something about there. There's something about the relationship that has you questioning whether or not they're a match. Okay, whether or not this person and you have, you know, what it takes. Okay, I'm not so much hearing that you're not you know, you like this person, but something about it, maybe you guys had a recent spat or there was something you guys did not agree on. Okay. And now you're questioning whether or not should I be with this person? Now this could be Aries energy here. Like you really do like this person and you may have even really been in love with this person at one point, but I think that there's something that has caused a fracture. Okay. Between you and them. I get the feeling that they're still with you. Okay, or you're still around this person, or you're still hoping, you know, for something more with them. Okay, or to hear, there's something I'm hearing, Pisces, that you need to hear. Sorry, Pisces, did I say Pisces? I'm at Aries. What the heck? Some of you may have Pisces in your chart. I don't know, but it's it seems like there's something that you guys need to hear. Okay, or you need to see. All right. Uh, tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me about this attachment card for Aries what we have okay we got we've got quite a bit here okay we've got Hierophant in reverse hmm secrets okay um secrets Aries I feel like there's someone from this from this person's past that you worry about okay or there's there's something about them that um you feel like they're secretive like they're not really revealing the whole, their whole self or, you know, something about your intuition, I feel like has been, 
how interesting. I just said Pisces and then the, the high priestess came out in reverse. So some of you guys maybe have water in your chart or you're an intuitive, okay? Something about your intuition has been affected here. I think that maybe, Aries, you're worrying about something a little too much. You may be a little paranoid about something, okay? And this is affecting whether or not you two can see eye to eye, okay? Tell me about the, yeah, strategy here. Um, not being fully truthful or just, you know, trying to figure out. How, yeah, you're dealing with a strategist, okay? I feel like you're dealing with someone that you know, they think about things before they do it. And then, you know, they get everything all together. Okay. They get everything all together and then they do, they enact something. So like this secretiveness, this paranoia, I don't, I don't want to say you're paranoid, but like there's something you're, I, I have to pull on this, but there's something you're really worried about Aries. It could be a fear of rejection from this person or a fear of losing them to another person. And there's some unhealthy attachment here in your energy to a fear of someone not really being invested in you. Okay. And I think that this is due to maybe even unhealthy attachments to the past. Okay. Tell me about this seven of swords. Why the seven of swords? this ten of cups in reverse yeah there's this person has had a lot of disappointments okay the person you're dealing with because of that this is why they strategize okay this is why they feel why it feels like this person is secretive they have a tendency to strategize everything they do before they do it. And it leaves you kind of in the dark and you're more like a straightforward person. I'm hearing that this makes it hard for you to invest your heart fully into the situation. All right, let's take a look at current feelings for you. What you need to know about their current feelings for you. What is Aries person's current feelings? The sun. Wow. Okay, so you give a lot of energy, I think, to this person, and I think you make them very happy, Aries. I really do. I think that you give this individual a lot of your time, a lot of your energy, and they find you someone who is high energy, okay? Someone that they really enjoy. Uh, I'm getting a lot of fear, Aries, in your energy about how close you are to this person. Like, I think you think this person is your match, but you're not allowing um, things to flow. Like there's a, there's a disconnect here between a flow state with both of you and the ability to let something form. You, I feel like you're just too afraid or heck you could flip it on this head. The other person could be afraid of investing, but they can tell your, you know, scene kind of, through them a little bit that they're they've just had a lot of illusions in their life okay <laughs> they know that you're seeing the truth that, that you're seeing something or that you're you're scared of something they know you're scared of something but this person you make them happy okay they have fun with you is what i'm hearing they enjoy your company um they like talking with you but uh there's something going on that they haven't dealt with yeah lovers in reverse the devil, okay? And then six of pentacles. So, my darlings, okay? <laughs> this person is attracted to you, all right? They are they are here with the devil. They they are, they feel kind of drawn to you is what I'm hearing. Um, but for some reason here, they're having a hard time making the full choice in this like to either have this relationship or to keep it going, all right? So there is some indecision when it comes to coming together for both of you. And I think that this is making you paranoid or worried, but you still yet feel attached to them. I feel like you guys are drawn to each other naturally. This could be a soul bind or a soul connection that you guys have. Okay. Um, the This, this uh, six of pentacles definitely tells me you need to have an equal give and take with this person. And you may not be getting it and you may feel like... Here with the devil card, like, I'm stuck. You f you may feel like you're just stuck with this person and you don't know why. <laughs> you know? And I feel like you're definitely uh, afraid of opening your heart fully. 
because you're afraid of being attached to someone who doesn't make choices or is secretive or is not, you know, feels like they're not giving a lot. And I feel as though you're, your person here, they've had a lot of disappointments in love. Okay. Let's take a look at the shatter card we have. Yeah, it it, it cups in the reverse. You don't want to be an option, okay? Someone needs to make a choice here. Someone needs to, you know, I feel like you already are like, you know, I don't want to be disillusioned or, or illusioned, sorry. I don't want to have a bunch of, you know, lies or, you know, I don't want to fall, fake starts or falsities or whatever the heck, right? You're ready for, like, come on, give me the real deal here. Like, that's, <laughs> there's like, give me the real freaking deal. What's going on? Okay, what needs to happen here? What needs to happen here? What needs to happen here for Aries? What needs to happen here? Communication, Knight of Swords, okay? Um, I feel like there have been times that your person has wanted to actually reach out to you and just start talking and communicating a lot, okay? But for some reason, current circumstances, <laughs> they're strategizing. Okay, someone here is definitely trying to strategize what to do next before they make any decisions to get involved in a commitment okay and you're attached like you're already attached to this person and you know who this person is like you see them or you talk to them daily or you watch them or there's you know you guys know each other and you're attached to each other some of you could even live with this person but like you're feeling a little iffy about the situation but yeah this is what needs to happen. Okay, truthful, honest, direct, maybe even a little bit pushy information. Okay, it needs to come through so that you feel secure that you're getting the communication you need from this person. And I feel like for you, you may need to take more physical action in your communication style. You may need to be more forward with your communication style. You may not be... Um, transparent enough okay with this person about where your heart sits you may not be sharing your you know your wants or your feelings with them yeah ace of cups your feelings you're not sharing your feelings with them okay someone here needs to open up and share how much they want something with somebody or that they want really you know it, <laughs> you may not be wanting to offer your love but <laughs> chariot yeah you're holding back maybe you're afraid you'll lose control with this person two of wands in the reverse yeah yeah you're afraid i think you're afraid of future and losing control eight of swords someone needs to get out of their head okay we bind ourselves out of fear and I feel like that's what's happening here, Aries. Um, your person is binded. You binded. And there needs to be more of a flow between both of you. And I think um, direct, straight up, forward, active, active communication is needed. Um, and some unhealthy attachments here to your relationship style or the way that you have formed the relationship with this person may need to be released. There may be some paranoia here with the high priestess in reverse or some secrets that you're keeping. Like you may not be telling this person how you actually are scared or how you really feel about them and you feel like they're your match and you just maybe I'm hearing some of your guys are like, Ugh, I wish this relationship would just go away. Like I'm hearing some of you guys are saying that. And I think that that is a, a block. Um, from allowing yourself to open up freely um, and tell somebody, like, I really am into you and I feel drawn to you and I can't stop thinking about you. And I think that scares some some of you guys. <laughs> so, hey, trust me, I get it, okay? I totally get it. I have that problem sometimes, too. I really do. Okay, let's take a look here. We're going to get some advice and then we'll be done. All right, we have surrender to the divine. So you guys, let go. Okay, you guys may be hanging on really tight to what happens with this person who's not really opening up to you as much as you'd like them to. And you may need to surrender and allow yourself to just be free physically, emotionally, and to communicate, okay, what it is. Uh, you may need to let go. I want to get one more card here. 
and expect a powerful change. Yeah. I don't think this person's going anywhere. I don't. But a choice does need to be made. Conclusions are within reach. Yeah, you're going to get your answers. Okay, you're going to get what you need. There may be a change here that's yet to happen that is about to happen. All right. Oh boy, Aries. What's going on? What's going on? All right, that's what I have for you guys. Now, I just want to let you guys know if you have booked a readings with me in the past via the site Fiverr, which is a freelancing site, I'm now offering my readings through my own store on my website. I will leave the link to that down below and you just pay there. You, you know, it's three reading types that you can pay for and it's very simple. Uh, and that's how we're going to do it from now on because I'm no longer going to be running my store via Fiverr. Okay. I just want to do it straight through my website. So I want to thank all of you that have booked readings with me in the past through Fiverr and those that have, um, that I know personally, um, and my repeats. And I just want to say thank you for being patient as well and staying and sticking with me. Okay, Aries, I love all you guys. Keep that fire going and I can't wait to hear from you soon. Take it easy. Bye.